My Lord God of the universe, ruler of all that exists on the face of the earth. You who inspired the psalmist with one of the most beautiful prayers that millions of people offer to each other every day in Psalm 91. You wanted to show all the love, protection, and tenderness that you give to all your children, those who trust in you, as well as the power and strength that you use in the shield. Protector, you guard us in every moment. Those of us who trust in you do not fear the darkness at night since we are not alone. The Almighty is always by our side, taking care that nothing happens to us in his arms. We will not have a chance to suffer any calamity, neither in our home, nor our work, nor even in our family. I know that I do not have the right to ask for a perfect life. I am aware that the difficulties presented to me are evidence that I must overcome to succeed over evil. In this way, I can give testimony of the merciful manifestation of the perfect goodness of God. The Lord is always willing to take care of us even after death. I know that you also have an army that you send to earth to fulfill the duty of taking care of anyone who takes refuge in you. Anyone who seeks refuge in the Lord will know of your magnificence and bear witness to your work. With this psalm, we will be closer to you, my Lord. We can attain eternal life and be worthy of your goodness. With this prayer, all things will be ordered to be well. We should not only open the Bible to Psalm 91, we should pray with great faith, detail each verse to understand each word. This is how we can create a true relationship of trust in God. In all the tragedies of human history, this psalm has been one of the tools to mitigate the pain and suffering of many victims. Wars and pandemics devastate entire cities, but there has always been hope for recovery thanks to Psalm 91. Even the most unbelievers found a point of support in it. When we pray conscientiously, the Lord protects people, families, and entire countries. When we sing Psalm 91, we can feel your power as well as the kindness we receive. That is why we know that there is a relationship between this song and the positive effects. Whoever takes refuge in God and makes him his home will obtain unconditional protection from the Almighty. Many scholars have shown certainty in this power and affirm that when we forget God, problems always arise. That is why whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. They will be able to live with God's protection, keep His holy word, and obey His teachings. This means that whoever acknowledges God is also acknowledged, and He will solve the problem. He will deliver him from the snare of the hunter and the plague. I pray for additional protection. Nothing will affect me or make me stumble because I will have the protection of your wings. Because of my trust in Psalm 91, I have achieved peace and satisfaction to fight against the evil that constantly challenges me. Pursues I'm not afraid of night terrors or the demons that haunt me. I have no worries that disturb my sleep, and I wake up energized to face any conflict. There will be no plague or death that can affect me because my Lord will protect me from diseases and death. Even if thousands fall to my left and right, I will not fall. I feel the peace of spirit that God is protecting me from danger all around me. The wicked are punished. Those who lack mercy and have no fear of God are not humble enough to take refuge in your word. They will not receive asylum or refuge because they do not believe in you. However, those who put their faith in your word and lift up prayers like Psalm 91 will have no trouble at home, at work, or with family, as the angels will guard them every step of the way. They have the power granted by God as well as the love for us firmly established by Him. Do not let our feet stumble on stones, they will eliminate vipers and defeat lions and dragons. If I am faithful to your word, you will liberate and defend me because I have honored your name, 
Lord. I also receive your honor when I feel your call to defend your name. I dedicate my life to honoring and exalting your merit through the salvation of other souls. The Psalms are poems that comfort my heart when I read them, Father. I feel peace and harmony from your verses. Therefore, the inspiration of the psalmist comes from God, so that through prayer, we are moved to praise the Lord with songs and prayers. His words are not only literal, but also contain some magical energy to transform our lives into joy and optimism, but also into the protection we yearn for and need so much in this turbulent world. There are many testimonials I have heard of the power of Psalm 91, Lord. I am always willing to pray and greet you. You give us this secret place that only those who worship you can access. There, I receive the peace and security that I so desperately need in times of tribulation. Even if it is not a physical space, it is an impregnable fortress for any enemy, both physical and spiritual. That's where I can lessen my worries by praying in your refuge. This gives me strength to stand firm and find the lost path. Only when I am protected by the Most High, do I feel like I am in a true home. I feel safe and confident. Dwelling does not only mean living in one place. It also implies an infinite space of time where our lives do not wear out. After that, we will make the transition to eternity with peace in our souls. For this, we have to build that bridge, and we can only achieve that with constant prayer. It is the only way to make this temple our eternal home. When we have the virtue of entering that secret place, we can enjoy the privilege of living under the protection of the Lord. Under His shadow, we will be able to endure the scorching heat that could isolate and kill us of thirst. Knowing this experience, I know it's best to take refuge in your arms, Lord, to pray every day and honor you with my praises. I will not allow doubt to linger in my heart after having known the benefits I receive when I lift my song to the Lord, for the truth shall set us free. Therefore, the word proclaimed by voice or silence will perform miracles and multiply its worth, as it unleashes a greater power than lies seeking to extinguish faith. Only through prayer can we open the doors to the secret place and receive those who honor the Lord. When I proclaim my Lord as my strength, my fortress, and my dwelling place, I speak of the safe place where I will be sure of peace and security. My God, in you I will trust, I will give you my life, and consecrate myself to your service forever. In Psalm 91, the Lord promises to deliver us from temptation and the traps we are exposed to. The Lord promised to deliver us from the snare of the fowler, from the deadly pestilence, from the trap of the hunter, shown through envy and provocation, from being victims of enemies and conquered by them. The plague represents those physical and spiritual diseases that can leave the weak easy prey to sin. That is why His wings are responsible for enveloping us like a mother does with her chicks, trying to protect them from danger, knowing they are vulnerable. Just as a mother responds with ferocity to those who try to harm her offspring, this is his determination to take care of us in all pressing situations, anywhere, and at any time of the day, there you are, my Almighty Lord. Furthermore, the Lord intervenes when a rebellious sheep loses its way, for the Lord knows we are flesh and can stray from the path, but also knows we can strengthen ourselves and return to the path of holiness. Since I know that the Lord is my great Father, I do not blame you for your way of disciplining me. For it is your duty, I accept any punishment you put me through, for I know I can straighten up and get back on track at any time. My faith in the Father is such that I believe that everything I suffer means an opportunity where I am learning. I give you my loyalty, and you provide me with the shield of protection. It can be quite dark, but when I pray, I am filled with tranquility, for in nocturnal battles, 
the light prevails, and fear dissipates. I know that many people experience terrifying experiences, but when I surrender myself to prayer, I feel confident that I will not feel that terror. If I believe enough and have faith, darkness will not find me, and I will not succumb to it. Whatever happens, I will always have the love of my Lord, who will comfort me. In the same way, my God will continue to make those arrows directed at me to hurt me certain, even when skilled shooters fire them, they will not reach their target, for the power of my Lord is superior. Psalm 91 affirms my conviction of the implicit security enjoyed by those of us who pray with faith, while at the same time giving us the assurance that the Lord will be our refuge in times of danger, and our Father will take on the traps. I will take care of demons, pestilences, and any enemy my Father. I know that many things will pass around me, but those of us who decide to follow the path of faith can sleep in peace because the Lord will keep us away from any catastrophe. During my life, I have learned that whatever is planted will be harvested, and that is why I have dedicated myself to proclaiming your love. I am always ready to help others, always putting your name first. That is why I am certain that by not straying from the Lord, I will be able to obtain the reward of living with the Lord of hosts. Anyone who strays from your word may succumb, as they have not experienced it, and they will not have assurance of the salvation of their souls because I know that your justice is wise and good. I hope you look upon me, Father, as you always help my neighbor, whatever their circumstance, just as Jesus helped the leper. I feel the duty to conform to the disadvantaged, not because I want a reward, but because it is what your word has taught me. Those who are faithful to you and proclaim your word will receive the promised benefits. Psalm 91 imposes an assertion where all those who lie down will receive the blessing, the goodness of our Lord God. Those who have strayed from your path, when they join the army of God, cling to the infallibility of his words. He is our Father, and as such, he is willing to save us from the clutches of the evil one. That is why we must trust fully in his wisdom. But beyond that, this song gives us the opportunity to know a new dimension, to work collectively in common, to practice the exercise of faith, and to concentrate on the well-being of our fellow human beings. God always has us present, and his promises are always available to us. Evil will not be able to reach us, nor harm our body, nor our home, nor our loved ones. We ask you, Father, to hear our appeals. I have had many difficult moments, but I have always taken refuge in your love. Tragedies have not brought me down, and I have never lost my faith. I only know that they are the tests that the Lord puts in my path to prove my fidelity. The voice that lifts me up every day is my prayers, those songs that bring me peace and hope. I feel that your angels cover me with their wings. They always appear in various forms, sometimes unknown and unimaginable, sometimes as part of our lives. I have learned that your army is full of angels ready to serve you at all times, and they are the ones who take care of your children all those who defend you and fear you. The enemies embodied in the beast and the dragon represent destruction and will be defeated by the heavenly army. They are already defeated enemies. Prayers and faith that we place in you across different verses of the Bible. There are many of your children defeating beasts, just as we have testimonies of Christians who have also achieved this. Therefore, I can trust that I can overcome them too. It is not impossible for you, O oh Lord, which is why I entrust my life, my family, and my future into your hands, so that you may bring all my projects to fruition and that I may not lose anything. However, I also ask that you prevent us from falling into doubts that may make us stumble. I am a sheep in your flock and I need you to guide and lead me on the right path 
just as you protected the people of Israel on their journey to the promised land. Lord, I ask that you prepare the way for me, give me knowledge through your words, put the right prayers in my mouth, and lead me to liberation, the only reward I can receive for my devotion to you. Please grant me the favor of your grace, let me soar up and escape the temptation of the traps that are set up daily, just as I know that when I call upon you, you will answer me and my distress will be relieved. In return, I will praise and glorify you every day of my life. Psalm 91 is beautiful, it puts us in a privileged position where we are given the opportunity to choose the safest dwelling where we find peace, mercy, and your infinite goodness. I am confident that these promises come to me since I placed my trust in your great mercy. Forgive my sins and imperfections, God, you are my great Father, the one I can always rely on. Every time I bow down to pray, I trust that you will bless me with your promise to welcome me into your fortress and protect me from all danger. Amen. Help the channel grow by subscribing so that more people can listen to this powerful prayer. Dear and beloved Lord, I come to you with extraordinary faith, for only you are merciful and omnipotent. You alone are Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, which is why I call upon you and implore you to shelter me under your wings. Only you, Lord, are my hope and refuge, and only in you can I trust, for I know that under your wings I will be safe. No danger will be able to touch me, no sword will sink into my back, and all my enemies will fall at my side. Your blessed energy envelopes me and forms a shield around me, protecting me from the darkness and its dangers, from evil spirits and corrupt hearts that wish to harm me. You, Lord, deliver me from all and everyone, and no threat shall come to me. By your side, I shall see all those who wish me ill, and I shall observe the reward that awaits me, for you love all your children, and I am one of them. I believe in your power and glory, I believe in your blessed word that can illuminate me in the midst of darkness. Forgive all my sins and offenses against you. For I know that you are merciful to your children, and you keep them away from everything that hurts them. That is why I ask you, Father, to remove everything bad from my life, from all evil that wants to haunt me, so that I may follow my path and your path and fulfill your holy will in every moment. O, oh, glorious Lord, my soul overflows with confidence for all the favors that you have granted me, and so I thank you, Father, for putting your angels at my right hand, for keeping me safe on all my paths, and for carrying me on their wings, so that my feet do not stumble on any stone. And I am not touched by any evil spirit, nor any plague comes to my house, for the Most High has taken up residence in my dwelling. That is why no harm shall befall me. I place my love in the heavens, and I shall answer your call. I shall take refuge in you in times of difficulty, and I shall glorify you in moments of joy, thanking you for keeping me under your bosom, for showing me salvation, and for allowing me to drink from your river of living water. When the roads are closed before me, you give me the strength I need, and the long life and salvation that I so desperately need. You are great, Lord and you are the refuge where I want to be. Deliver me from the scourge of misfortune. Deflect the arrows that are fired at me during the day, and protect me, Father, from the plagues that beset my dwelling. Your power makes my heart soar to the Lord, and I am completely invaded by the spirit of your love, which makes my heart bigger and purer, because you are in it. You are present in every step I take, and you light my path with your powerful light that gives me life and well-being. Like the powerful psalm that says, 
He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. That is how I want to live, Lord, I want to live by your side always, for only by your side can I find true peace and happiness. On your side, I can find comfort and help in my storms, light for dark days, and wisdom to find the best solutions, always with your present word. Without voice, God, I could not be loved. My mind would be confused and noisy, my thoughts would be scattered and meaningless. That's why, Father, I always come to you, Lord, because only you give me the peace I need. Only you can calm my anxiety in the most desperate moments of my life. I will trust only in you, Lord, because you are my castle and my hope. I cannot surrender to anyone else. You free me from the snare of the hunter and from bad influences that want to take me away from your side, separate me from your flock, and drag me into the depths of evil. My soul wants to be saved, and my heart and spirit desire to be by your side, Father. Don't let the hunter catch me, hurt me, and corrupt my good and healthy spirit. You know that I only have eyes for you, beloved Father, and I want nothing but your light and presence. Your shield is the only truth I know. Even under your wings is where I feel the safest. There, I have no fear of the darkness of the night because there is perpetual light. A light of hope, the light of love, that deep love that you feel for your children and your pride of being one of them. That's why you protect me every moment from the arrow that flies during the day, from the evil spirits that haunt the night. From the plague that haunts the dark night, and from the pestilence that pursues the day. No matter what happens, I know that your powerful sword will always keep me safe because no one has more power than you, God of hosts. No one, Father, has your grace. No one has your justice. Only you have the strength to ward off all that is bad. Your light illuminates even the darkest corners, making all enemies leave their hiding places like rats because they know that you will destroy them with just a glance. With your infinite power that is capable of punishing evil but also providing the most sincere love we can find. I will see my enemies fall by my side, no arrow will cause me harm, and I will never be touched by any curse because you will be by my side to ward off all evil from me. Nothing will be stronger than your grace, your light, and your power. I call upon the Holy Spirit, asking you to flow through me, to cleanse me body and soul. To let the Lord be the master of my mind and heart because I do not want to live this life, my beloved Father, feeling loneliness and darkness. Give me your light, you who put your only Son on the cross to save us. You took away the weight of our sins, and you still protect us in your dwelling place. You saved him so that he could be our hope so that no evil would befall us, so that no plague would touch us, so that no evil being would take advantage of us. And you, Father, also commanded your angels to guide us and guard us on all the paths that lead us. We lift up our feet and our voices to you, Father. We thank you for loving us, for making us your children, for giving us the peace we need, and for being the true Father. We always seek eternal Lord God Almighty, only with your intercession can I be great, only with your help can I become worthy for your Son. You are the beginning and end of everything, sovereign over all, your power is beyond our imagination but it is so great that I can feel it every day when I see the sun rise in the morning and feel the wind on my face. I know that your presence surrounds me and that I can be liberated from all adversity on my path. Father, put your armor on me, invite blessings for me and my loved ones. I feel your power every day, that's why I know that your eyes are always on me, encouraging me to follow in your footsteps. 
helping me carry my burdens, calming my heart from distress, passing your hand over my head to ward off evil thoughts, making my spirit rejoice. For there is no greater joy than living with you, Lord. I believe in the power of your beloved word. God, I know that your word is the water that quenches the thirst in the midst of the desert, your word is the only thing that can illuminate the darkest night. Save me from the dark abyss, and also the only thing that can ward off what hurts and torments me. That is why I ask you to put these words in my mouth, to spread your word wherever I go, O oh my Lord, only you, my Father can give me the authority to walk on lions and vipers without being bitten or hurt. With your grace, I can tread on dragons without feeling the heat of the fire. Only with you, Lord, can I do things I never knew were impossible. You give me the strength I need, make me pass over my enemies effortlessly, because for you, nothing is impossible. Nothing stops you from protecting your children, nothing stops your powerful sword from guarding yours. I invoke you, Lord God, at all times, I know that you will answer my calls and my pleas. I know that you will be with me in my moments of anguish and despair, Father, I know that you will protect me and free me from all evil. Because I have known your name and you have accepted me with your infinite love, prolonging my days in the vastness of your grace. That grace that allowed me to touch many times and see the salvation that you promised me, that you gave me after I sinned against you. That is why I thank you, Father, thank you, Lord, for rescuing me from the well where I was, taking my hand and pulling me out into your light, your light that now illuminates my life every day. I used to seek refuge in anything else that gave me relief, but I found true relief in your shelter, under your wings, I learned the true meaning of home. A welcoming and luminous house that I can only find in your presence, that I can only find in your word. That is why I ask you, Father, to transform my words into truth, turn them into a sword that cuts all the evil and petty things in the world. So that all who hear them know that they come from you, Father, from you, Lord. As I kneel before the Lord and ask that you continue to be my refuge, the refuge I have always sought elsewhere and never been able to find, please satisfy me with long life and salvation. I will call upon you and the Lord will answer me, putting an end to my fears and anxieties. Freeing me from the chains that bind me to the evil that seeks to imprison me in my suffering. But you, Lord, will come with your blessed salvation to take me out of the darkness of the abyss. For I will call upon you and say, My Lord, hear my cries and prayers so that I may see your light in the darkness and follow you wherever I go. For I am nothing without your presence, I am nothing without the love you give me. With your help, I can know what true freedom is, the freedom that rules and protects my being. That keeps any curse from approaching my body, that keeps any enemy from coming to my house. For everything that comes before me is through your presence, Father, and this will make all evil and pestilence disappear. No harm will come to me, and as curses fall from me, I will see the reward that you have saved for me, the new name upon your home. My hope is placed in you, dear God, for there is no other who can offer me as much love as you do and the protection you give me daily. Your holy power can break down walls and move mountains. All that I do is always for your grace, for all glory and honor belong to you, Lord. My life is dedicated to serving and praising you because you accepted me as I was and now I am a new person because you changed me. And as long as I dwell in your abode, I will not fear the terrors of the night or the long loneliness of the night. For the wings of your angels will be my refuge and under them I will have your light and shelter from the cold. 
I have no doubt that I will always trust in the Lord. Only you will protect me from the plague, disease, evil, and envy that come near me to practice evil, for they will pass through your protective shield, even if they are stronger than I am. Your power can face this and much more, my Father, for you are holy and only you are omnipotent. I will keep my eyes fixed on you, my Father, for I do not want my eyes to fixate on the evil around me. I only want to concentrate on your presence, your divine image that humbles me. From now on, I only want to live with your presence in my life, without anyone to disturb this perfect harmony between us, and no one will be able to do so, for all my attention is on you, dear Savior. I do not want to be away from you for a single second of my secure life, my Father. Hold my hands, for in you, I will be safe, my Lord, so that I do not stumble in my walk and so that you may guide my path without my falling into the anguish of leaving your presence. For you know that without it, I am nothing. My life will be back in the abyss it was before I met you. Let me always be by your side, God. I don't want to go anywhere else. I want to stay with you and continue to experience the wonders that I can only receive by your side. You are the great Almighty God, and my life has become better and more beautiful with you. Your presence is felt where I live, Father, because you have revived my spirit. You revive me every day by encouraging my heart and the hearts of those around me because your grace envelopes me and makes your image transmitted in me. So, I feel your power over me, giving me strength to keep going, even though you know I am weak and fragile. That has never been a hindrance for you. My Father, to take care of my broken spirit by transferring some of your power to me, giving me eternal life by your side. Dear Father, you are in heaven taking care of us. I thank you for always protecting me, even when I feel miserable and needy. I know that you support the weak and captive. Your power is great and can be distributed to all your children around the world. You give strength to the fallen and joy to our hearts so that we can experience and do your will. Glorifying your kingdom forever, exalting your spirit, and opening the eyes of those who are blind in spirit and integrity. Thank you, Lord, for saving my life today and always. Amen. Dear God, you know everything about my life and every thought that crosses my mind. You are aware that the most special things in my life are my children and grandchildren. They are the light that guides my path and the greatest gift that your infinite grace has given me. That is why I give them to you with all my heart and soul so that you may protect them from all the dangers of the world. No one is more powerful and merciful than you. I know that under your protection, my family will be safe from any threat that may haunt them. In your hands is all the power necessary to keep away the beasts that want to take away the good and humble spirit of my family. I know that whoever lives under your shelter will dwell in your shadow. That is why I have taught my children and grandchildren the power of your word in their lives and in our family life. Because it is the glue that will keep us united and the guide they will have to lead their lives on the path to your paradise. I ask you to enlighten me every day to recognize when I should help them and when to remain seated in your presence. So that they remain firm in the grace that you offer them every day and rejoice in the hope of achieving your glory and being by your side forever. You are our hope and our castle. There is no one else who can free my children and grandchildren from the hunter of the plague that can kill them. I know that with your wings, you will protect them and give them shelter. 
taking them away from the fear of the darkness of the night that can bring anguish and despair to the hearts of my grandchildren who do not yet know how to defend themselves from their fears and thoughts. That is why I ask for strength and wisdom, Father, to help them come to you in times of affliction, both day and night, T. O oh, protect themselves from the mortality that haunts the day and the plague that sets in at night. Cover my children and grandchildren with your glorious wings. They will be able to give them light and hope. Protect them from the rain and the cold, and warm them in the middle of the night when they are most exposed. Your shield will be a protective mantle that we need for protection against enemies. So that envy does not come to us and destroy the family we have built thanks to your word and your inexhaustible protection that has never failed us. We rejoice in your path every day. We know that although there are difficulties and problems in our lives, you never abandon us. You are the one who keeps us firm in every storm, anguish, and all agitation. That is why we praise you. Our family honors you, Lord. We are with you at all times. Our unwavering faith, I commit myself to teach my children and grandchildren your teachings so that they may know your name and eternal salvation. We put your name as our guide in all situations we face as a family, both in joys and sorrows, when we are healthy and when we are sick. We always invoke your name from above to us. Helping us understand the challenges we face, although exhausting, are never created for suffering but because you want us to replenish ourselves through your word. Which is the only salvation we know in the world. Do not allow my children and grandchildren to fall into the temptation of sin. Your Psalm 91 says, A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. So, I ask the Lord to protect my grandchildren and children from any person or thought that may incite them to sin. Fix your eyes on the enemy, Father, and make him go away with his curse. Do not let him dare to touch the innocent souls of my family, which are as precious to me as they are to you. I have done everything in my power to make your presence always the north that they seek in their journeys. You are the only hope I have to make my family a holy family, a family that sets an example of salvation for others. Therefore, in this prayer, I ask you to give me the strength I need to accompany my children and grandchildren on their paths through life. Always making sure that they do not let go of your hand, that they never leave the refuge that only you can give them. And that they do not get lost in the darkness of the night because your light will always keep them safe from any danger. My Lord, I ask you to keep my children and grandchildren safe from any illness or curse that may haunt them. Heal them with your precious blood, Father, because they must live the life that you have given them. My children must see their grandchildren grow up as I did, Father, and they must enjoy all the wonders that you have placed on earth so that your children may fall in love with life with you. Keep them healthy, strong, and shining, Lord, so that they may be living witnesses of the miracles that you perform when we believe in you. Free their minds from everything that is negative and superficial, from the evil that surrounds them. The minds of young people may be weak and bare, but you will not allow that to happen to my family because you protect them from all the dangers they may expect in their minds. No matter what others say, because many people still do not understand that only you are the way of truth and that only you are capable of giving the happiness that everyone seeks. You make the weak strong. Help my grandchildren to be young people with temperance. Do not let them be bent under the pressure of others. Command your angels, Father, to be helpers on their journeys, 
holding their hands so that they do not stumble in anything as they walk. May they tread on the lion and the adder without harm. Let them be young bearers of your word at all times, Father. Let people know that they are your children, and let them be a model for others like them. My children are starting to be parents. Help them on their way, Lord. Illuminate them to make the best decisions. Help me know how to guide them in your parenthood, as you did with me when I was young and I took care of them. Now they take care of my grandchildren. I really want them to do this through your word. I do not want to abandon them. So, the holy journey of forming worshippers of your presence gives them the instruments they need to educate your children. And give me the strength and health I need to see and guide them in raising my grandchildren. You have placed your love in me, calling out my name and lifting me high. I respond by calling upon you every day of my life, glorifying your name wherever I go. You have made me your child, just as you have done with my children and grandchildren, for they are an extension of your glory. Dear Father, you have sent me these precious earthly angels as a gift, and I thank you every day. My family is the greatest treasure I have, and that is why I place them in your hands, for there is no safer place for them to be. I believe firmly in your power and your word, and I ask for your forgiveness for all my mistakes, especially those I have made with my children and grandchildren. They are not to blame for my stumbles and faults, and I ask that you see me with your magnanimous eyes and forgive me. Father, Make me in your image and likeness so that I can shape my children and grandchildren as you do with me. Remove the shadows that may fall upon our home and family, and do not let what we have built based on your teachings collapse because of the wickedness of others. Let me fulfill your holy will without any impediment that may exist in the world. As you said in Psalm 91, He will call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him and honor him. This is the promise you made to us, and I believe firmly in it, Father. You have shown me that you love me in so many ways, especially through my children and grandchildren. You have given me an extraordinary family, and my gratitude before you will be infinite and will stay with me forever. My family and I want to be saved. We want to be your children, Father. We want to be one with you. We want our hearts and souls to be yours, and we never want to leave your embrace, that warm and loving hug that comforts and delights your children. We want to feel it within us always, with all your blessings inside us. Who else can I trust if not you, Father? In whom else can I trust to protect my children and grandchildren? Only in you can I be confident enough to leave the souls of my family in your hands. With you, I can rest calmly and securely, knowing that their path through life will be holy and sacred, for you are present with your spirit and will work miracles in them. You strengthen the weary and increase the power of the weak. Even young children and infants may grow tired and weary, but we trust that you will lift them up and renew their strength. Making them soar like eagles and run without becoming weary, thanks to your powerful love that will make them feel invincible. For you are with them every step of the way, never letting them fall. We thank you, Lord, for everything we have received from you in our hearts and spirits. We are grateful for the family harmony we have in our home, even during difficult times of deprivation and hard work. You have never abandoned us, Lord, and you have made us a happy and secure family, for your love makes us great and complete, for we lack nothing. We only need your presence, Father, for it gives us life and nourishes us with the gift of heaven. Rewrite the following text. 
Lord we want your power to flow in us to give us strength, courage, so that we can see you, recognize you, and appreciate you clearly in all the work that you do every day for us. We do not want you to let us faint or tire, no matter what we have to go through. Fill us with your Spirit, Father, in the deepest and most meaningful way so that we may have peace not only in our family but also in the community. For it is there that we develop, and my grandchildren continue to evolve as there we can carry all the blessings that the Lord gives us. Give me the ability and strength to continue setting an example for my children and grandchildren, an example of a holy and spiritual life. I want to pass on my experiences and the wisdom that you have given me to my children so that they may share it with their children. And they, in turn, may pass it on to their children so that the chain of love and hope in my family never breaks. This is the greatest legacy that I can leave, all my love and teachings that I have learned from you. That is why I ask you, Lord, to give me long life and health so that I may continue to transmit your powerful word not only in my life and my family but to anyone who wishes to hear it. There is no greater power than your love, the love that a father feels for his children, and since we are your children, we can feel your wonderful love around us every day. It makes us happy, it makes us feel that we can do anything, but above all, it makes us feel that our Father is the only and omnipotent one. That is why we thank you every day, we kneel before your goodness. We want to be worthy of being your children, who are proud of us, and may you provide us with clarity and hope every day. Listen to my pleas, Lord, and protect my children and grandchildren from the dangers and wickedness that exist in this world. Protect our lives, Lord, so that my eyes can see and prevent any difficulties that we may encounter. And if it is your will, let them go through a very strong test. Illuminate their paths, Lord. And give them strength to face this difficult process from which they will emerge victorious, thanks to you, because you want your children to become stronger every day and worthy of your blessings. May they not abandon your path, for they will always be surrounded by evil spirits that will try to separate them from you. But that is why I will be there to help them face these demons that want to destroy them. Therefore, I am your faithful servant, Father, and that is why you help me face any arrow or plague that tries to approach my family because your powerful shield will protect us. And you will cover us under your wings, where we will remain safe. There is nothing more powerful than a father protecting his children, and we are your children. My family belongs to you, Lord, and that is why I will make sure that when I am by your side in the earthly paradise. My family will remain safe forever, for I will continue to take care of them, but I will be doing it by your side, Lord. I will be able to see how their lives continue on your path, and I will be satisfied that the work that you have given me on earth has been fully accomplished. For I have spread your word among my children and grandchildren, and they will continue to spread it always for your glory and praise, and so it shall continue forever. Amen. Archangel Michael, Protector and Warrior. I lift up my prayers with full faith that they will reach you. I know that you fight for me with fervent power. Mighty Warrior, help me in this battle. You lift up my feet so that I do not stumble. No obstacle can defeat me with your wings as my refuge on dark days. I will live in the shadow of your wings, and I will not fall or walk in bad paths. I always lift up my prayers to you every day and night without ceasing. I have full faith in your powerful presence because you fought against the forces of evil, 
defeating the enemy. Therefore, God gave you a place of honor to defend his children against all problems, to care for those who love you. I have no doubts that you will hear my prayers, powerful and admirable Archangel. We have no evil or pestilence during the day. You guard me, and my soul rests at night. The destructive plague will not touch me, and fear will not affect me. You are the light that guides each of my steps, and anyone who wants to harm me will fall. The wicked will not prevail against the children of God. I have an ally in you. And those who act wickedly will always fall to the right and to the left, for my paths remain clear. Nothing stops me. Thanks to your presence. My God never abandons me. Therefore, he sent you, beloved Archangel. You are always my hope, the horizon that shines for me. My room is filled with these prayers, and my soul is filled with peace. My God, thank you for sending life, for my heart rests peacefully. Archangel Michael, you are my protector in difficult days. I know that you come to me, and I have full confidence that you will not leave me alone. No harm will come to me, no plagues will fall upon my life or my family. You keep me every day, and you take my hand and accompany me wherever I go. My feet do not stumble because of you. That is why I always have the assurance that no shadow will cover my being. Your love goes with me, and I know that God protects me. Therefore, he sent you, beloved Archangel. You never abandon me. In the heavens, you fight with great power. You care for what I see and what I do not see. All threats disappear before you. You set me free and lift me up. Sadness will not come, and my tears will dry up with love. My spirit is joyful, and those to the right and to the left will be moved because my paths remain clear. Nothing stops me, thanks to your presence. My God never abandons me. Therefore, he sent you, beloved Archangel. You are always my hope, the horizon that shines for me. My room is filled with these prayers, and my soul is filled with peace. My God, thank you for sending help, for my heart rests peacefully. Archangel Michael, you are my protector in difficult days. I know that you come to me, and I have full confidence that you will not leave me alone. You will leave me alone, no harm will come to me, no plagues will fall upon my life or my family. You keep me every day, you take my hand and accompany me wherever I go. My feet do not stumble upon anything, that's why I always know no shadow will cover my being. Your love goes with me, I know God protects me, that's why beloved Archangel, you do not abandon me in heaven. You fight with greater power than what I see and what I do not see, all threats disappear before you, you free me and lift me up. Sadness will not come, my tears you have dried with love, no matter what happens, my faith does not falter or weaken. No matter what is happening, there is a privileged place before our God, your holy throne is his altar. Thank you. Beloved Archangel, beloved Saint Michael, my guardian, you are the strongest among the celestial princes. My devotion is yours. You have become the faith that drives my fight. On the wings of your shield, I am protected, in your shadow, I always live in peace. You are the refuge where I shelter while Almighty in my prayer house, you take my prayers to the Most High. Hope and castle where I reside, holy room, resting place, eternal space, 
free me from the hunter who lurks. If I deliver those who seek to harm God's beloved children from the plagues that run, your wings protect me. So I can be calm. No matter what happens or what kind of evil is in the midst, nothing touches me, nothing can harm me. Do not fear the darkness because you are always by my side day and night. Thank you, beloved celestial being, warrior archangel, and beloved Saint Michael, for your help to those who need you. Your love and will are great and unwavering, your ears are ready to listen to any problem, no matter what the nature. That's why I always invoke your protection. Holy Guardian. You do not allow anything to harm me, you take care of my mind so that I do not act badly. That way, I will not sin against my Heavenly Father. Allow my actions to always be good. My feet will not turn to the right or to the left. I will not stumble or fall upon any stone. The angels guard my path, your true shield frees me from evil, it protects me from all arrows of those who go by day. Of the evil that lurks in the dark, that runs through the shadows. I always have your grace. That which God granted to you to blot out each of us with it. Chief Prince of the Celestial Armies, you heal my heart of all wounds. I place my requests in your hands. Make your request now because I know you will take them to my Father, and he will hear each one of my supplications. God's ears are always ready for each one. I have no doubts about them, nothing scares me and nothing will scare me. I rest in peace because you are with me, beloved Archangel Michael. With you, my eyes will see the reward and my enemies will reap what they have sown, even in the midst of darkness and the scariest night. You are my light that illuminates all my days, and no harm will come to me. My soul never stops praying and is always grounded in the Word of God. As soon as I wake up, I come to you because I know you will never leave me. Your beautiful presence remains with me wherever I go, no matter what happens. Even if I fail spectacularly, you never abandon me. You free me from plagues, diseases, dilemmas, and afflictions, and they all disappear. My soul rests in complete peace, and you are my refuge where my rest is complete. You carry me in your hands and go ahead, clearing the path and protecting my back so that nothing can reach me. I am protected on every side by your holy existence, and I will step on every evil being and keep them away from my path. I have put my love in you, and my heart belongs to you. I never tire of worshipping God and never sleep without thanking you for your presence. Saint Michael the Archangel, I always declare your name, sanctify and glorify you at every moment of my day. You show me salvation, grace, and blessings. Thank you, my powerful Archangel, my warrior and complete Archangel. Your sword frees me from all the persecution of people who act in faith and are instruments of the enemy of our souls. Those whom Satan uses for his plans that work in each of his machinations. You stand by my side along with beings of light and never leave me. Please take care of all my loved ones, be with them at all times, and protect them as you do with me. Protect my possessions, guard my house, and build a wall around me so that evil cannot reach me or even touch me. My mind will always remain in peace, and problems will not affect me. Your powerful mantle protects me from oppression, and I am a witness to the love you profess. Therefore, I never doubt you, beloved Archangel. Thank you for all your love, my worries disappear. 
and I trust that no matter what happens, you will help me. I have nothing to fear because you are my guardian, my being of light. I know that this prayer will help, and whatever happens, it will not be an obstacle for me or my loved ones. No worries will exist in me. Although I have been pursued by fear, it has no place in my life. The beloved children of God do not suffer because you are and will always be our defense, and your light is our shelter. We live under the celestial light and dwell in your presence without ceasing. You have made us worthy of your blessings through your infinite love. Thank you, beloved eternal being. My body and soul rest, and my spirit grows through faith. My lips never deviate from prayer, and I reflect on it day and night. I meditate on your works and reflect on my actions to never fall into sin and not fail my God. Thank you for always being with me and for being the protector that my Father sends. I owe these prayers to you, mighty intercessor. Fight for me. And may these prayers reach your throne and the throne of God, thanks to your holy presence. You are with me and support me with your army, and I feel you no matter where I go. I am certain of your love. My beloved and powerful protector. Thanks to you, I can face all adversity, and you give me the strength I need. That's why I keep praying to you. You are the representative of divine justice and the holy throne of God on earth. My insecurities disappear, my fears are calmed, and any doubts are dissipated. You are the force that gives me security, and the golden light of your presence is my protection. My heart and thoughts open up to you, beloved Archangel Michael. I ask for your presence, and you are my defender in this battle. You help me in any problem, so I ask you to work in my favor. Tell me your problem or request with faith to the holy throne of God. Thanks to you, I will not fall into temptation. You scare away all the evil that pursues us. I come to you and do not doubt that you will always protect me. You are always on the path of faith and the service of God, and you always guide me. Just as you won the great spiritual battles, you can help me in any situation. No matter what the situation, you always lead me to rest and tranquility. Your powerful sword always defends me from any storm that scares me, and your destructive power will not reach me. Peace will always be with me, and you are a brave and excellent warrior who leads me on paths of peace and rest. I pray to you at this moment to protect my family as you have done with me. May they be covered by your wings and in the shadow of your protection. You are my hope, my protective dwelling, and my loved ones will not suffer any harm because I always remain in you. I invoke your holy presence for them against any force of evil that wants to harm my loved ones. You keep my house safe and you listen to my requests with love. You hear our prayers, and you attend to each of our requests according to the perfect will of God. I implore you never to leave us, never to abandon us, and never to abandon my home. I never tire of thanking you, and I pray to you day and night. Please pay attention to every word that comes out of my mouth with total devotion. I have no doubt that you will put a protective seal on me, my loved ones, and my home. Nothing escapes your power, and I humbly stand before you in reverence. I know that you break the schemes of the enemy and cut all ties of destruction. Your sword breaks curses, and you break the obstacles that arise so that our family is always protected, and nothing can harm us. Chains are removed, and no bond will condemn our paths. 
Beloved Archangel Michael, Celestial Helper, Liberator, my voice of God. No spiritual prison will hold my loved ones captive because you will wage war on their behalf. The enemy of our soul will not prevail, for you place your sacred seal upon each one. And darkness recedes as full light fills us day and night. You remain by our side from sunrise to sunset. And during that time, my eyes close in confidence, and my head rests without worry. Three dreams of rest because I and mine are safe. You fight for me with great love, perceiving demons and evil beings, nullifying all curses invoked against me or mine. Placing your sword with force, ruthlessly annulling all malevolent actions. You guard my family, so that nothing may touch us. I will be victorious over all evil. God has granted you grace, thanks to your faithfulness, love, and courage. To be exalted in a celestial and powerful way. I will never tire of bowing my prayers to you. Protector and beloved Archangel, for all you have done. Before any bad moment, you save us, and every problem is only circumstantial. Tranquility returns to the hearts of my loved ones. Archangel Guardian, and my Guardian. I place my love in God to liberate me on a bad day, to lift me high, for I will never tire of praising your holy name. I will invoke, and you will answer me, and remain with me in my distress. When I invoke your presence, you always respond. My life will always be full, and I will be satisfied with all the grace and good works. God will show me salvation through you. I will always be on top, and my soul will revive, and my heart will always be at peace. Thank you, for you are my messenger of light. You fill me with the blessings that God sends from your holy throne. You are always near me, and will keep my ways. You are my resting place, Archangel Michael, my beloved caretaker. My trust is in you, and I will never doubt your love. Everything is under your control. And your works will always be good, so that your children may rest in peace. You know the purity of my motives. May each of my requests be good. I recite these words, fully confident, for you never fail. That is why I give up on nothing and no one will separate me from you. Darkness recedes, and you walk with my loved ones, guiding their steps with your love. My heart is animated, waiting for what you will do. I know you will act in our favor, and I will witness each of your magnanimous acts. Thank you for all you do with love for the children of God. I thank you completely, knowing that you will never abandon me. This prayer will reach you, and I have no doubt about it. A fragrant offering is to God when our hearts are pure. I am grateful to you, beloved Archangel Michael. Amen. Thanks be to God. Today I come before you, Almighty God, to first thank you for always listening to me. I consider you the best gift and I am grateful for having my aunt and father in my life. I kneel before you today with great need to restore peace in my home and in my family. Because sometimes the enemy infiltrates our spaces and is dedicated to bringing evil. I ask you, Lord, to cover my entire family. I am your faithful servant asking for mercy, Father. 
I have always trusted in your word that whoever seeks refuge in the Most High will dwell in the shadow of the Almighty. That's why I'm certain that you will always be with us. My faith is great. I just ask if we will achieve the peace we so desperately need with your presence. My family will always be well with you, Lord, and you will be able to overcome any difficulty. Mary, in the face of despair, I intend to come to you because you are my support and my rock. For with you there is no room for evil, doubt, or fear. But I don't want to move away from you, Father, because there will always be dangers lurking. I want to stay by your side always. Lord, I need to enter your castle, that great fortress where I could fulfill the promise I made. Help me, Lord, to be victorious in the face of any adversity, sickness, insolvency, economic problems, relationship problems, or even problems with children. Even when we are under your wings, we need your guidance to keep us on the right path, to remove any obstacles from us. Father, may the evil one not sow in us the seed of doubt. Do not let despair germinate in us, Lord. Allow our ears to filter out the words we should not hear. Prevent us from following the wrong path that leads us to a world of unrest or darkness. When I feel sadness in my heart, I seek refuge in the highest, beautiful psalm, Psalm 91. Which gives us the tools to obtain more strength to solve any problems or adversities that suddenly arise in our lives. This shows us that when we open our hearts to you, O God, you bless us and show us the way to be victorious. Let us pray and say psalm with great faith. Let us start the day by making our requests, for he will honor our intentions. Similarly, let us end our day by looking to him. Lord, guide us, guide our steps in all the days of our lives, that you may protect our family from all evil influence. Oh, my Almighty Lord, it is also my duty to come to you and thank you for all the good things you have given me especially my family, and for the great love you have bestowed upon us. Deliver us from any difficulties, accidents, and illnesses. From the influence of malicious people, from any threat that endangers our lives. Protect us, O oh my dear Lord God. Today, the happiness of my family was threatened with extinction, and I ask you. Lord, Please protect us, Father, from any poisonous arrow that may fall upon us. Malicious temptations because we know that we must remain loyal and firm in our Christian faith every day we are presented with harsh trials but we always trust in you, Lord. You have the strength to neutralize any danger. Save our bodies, our souls and our hearts so that we do not suffer the attack of the enemy. In this way, we can remain faithful to our faith because we cling to you, dear Father. I have also placed our relatives who suffer from illnesses in your hands because you are the doctor of doctors par excellence. For you, there are no impossibles, your power is greater than any evil force. We observe your work daily in every miracle of life, in every healing. That is why we trust you to recover and save us from any disease, to heal and free us. I know that soon we will see ourselves standing, ready to reward you for your kindness. Together with my family, I thank you for the favors we have received. I also come to you, Lord, because even when we love, we can hurt each other. Daily life and problems can impact our family relationships. We hurt ourselves with words we do not mean. Allow us to bring humility to the surface according to your teachings. Do not allow, Lord, 
that our hearts become hardened. May we be empathetic and know that our actions and words can hurt others. My family is beautiful because we stand on your teachings. Help us, Lord, to maintain our faith, to always be kind and patient, and for our love to be genuine and constant. Empathy helps us understand the feelings of others. May we achieve harmony based on understanding. Protect us with your mantle and power. May our actions manifest our love and respect for you accurately. We must be a precise reflection of you because we are your children. Dear Lord, my family knows that your power is infinite. That is why we are always by your side, practicing your teachings and seeking the well-being of the family. We are a great team, always helping and supporting each other. We testify that when we take refuge in the shadow of the Most High, we know that we will dwell in the peace of the Lord. When we open our eyes, we know that we must thank you. Our goal is to live under your blessing. Help us to live according to your commands. To be obedient, and to follow your guidance so that we can honor you. Bless us every minute of our lives because in this way, we will be able to continue giving our testimony. Only by fulfilling your precepts and doing good things, we can be worthy of your kindness. Our hearts are full of gratitude and love for you, my beautiful Lord. Only under the protection of your strength, we will find peace. By following your steps, we will be clear about our purpose. Help us achieve happiness and know that you are always by our side. The God of Israel is always guiding. Our steps, the words that come out of our mouths, and the actions we take, we are proud to be your children. That's why we want to live for you. Father. Show us why we are worthy of you. With the humility you taught us, we will only be able to advance in chaos and live a dignified life by listening to the voice in our hearts. My Almighty Lord, I also pray for the children of my family. They are the seeds that we must cultivate. Only with your guidance and protection will we be able to form them in faith. Only by following your example can we reach you. Let us help them grow and develop based on love and fear of God. Let them know that only with your guidance will they be able to achieve their life goals. Inspire them to follow your example to continue on the right path and always follow your footsteps. We are willing to be better and follow your example, filling ourselves with your faith and love. Because we know our world is not perfect, we come to you for protection and care for our children. Protect them from the constant dangers of this world, such as envy and negative energy, which always haunt Christians, trying to make us stumble, doubt your power, and your unconditional love. Lord, allow our children to identify your voice and not fall into the temptations that surround them. Only with your path can they overcome the obstacles that arise every day. O oh, excellent and powerful Father, my gratitude is so great because I know that my children are taken care of at any time, anywhere. You are the only refuge that can save them, as long as they are under your wings and in your shadow. We are constantly pursued by situations that are difficult to deal with. But we have confidence that you are the one who can help us in these storms. We are at peace because we are always surrounded by your love. As my family is the most important thing, I implore you, O oh Lord, to free my children from the traps and dangers that haunt them. Cover them with your wings and keep them safe so that nothing happens to them. Every day I thank you because they are cradled in your arms, and no one and nothing can take them away from there. O oh Lord, my God, 
I thank you for the life you have given us and for opening your heart so that we can take refuge in it. Be able to shelter ourselves in times of tribulation. Thank you for the food and opportunities to progress and have everything we need. My Lord. As Psalm 91 says, the Lord is the refuge that obliges us, my children and I, just like my whole family. I ask for this every night, Father, that your protective mantle covers us. I trust in your mercy, and I am convinced that no plague, illness, or negativity can attack or affect us because you are our protective shield, and with you, we are sure. When my family and I are here in our beds, please remove our doubts and fears that sometimes assail us. Let any night monster or invisible entities that want to harm us disappear with a single blow, Lord. Eliminate any negative thoughts that can influence us and make us pray to an evil attack. Guard our minds and hearts from all evil, and let no scary or horrible experience leave scars in your mind. Your word is healing, it tells us that there will be no night terror or arrow thrown to touch us, no plague. No disease, my almighty Lord. I have faith that you will protect my family so that they do not become ill or face danger. Lord, I ask that you always be like this so that they may sleep in peace and have peace. Avoid the guardian angels to maintain and guide the path of goodness without stumbling on any stones. Like their father, I have the obligation to take care of them, give them love, and teach them the fear of God. With Psalm 91, I can Know who you are, the shepherd of the flock of sheep who leads them to pasture and dictates all your teachings. Your shed blood will be a protective shield for my children and my entire family from all satanic evil. They will be protected from bad works. This beautiful psalm gives us the opportunity to trust in your power. May my family be safe from all danger. I put a lot of effort into my children to know you. And seek you, Lord. It is necessary that they establish a loving and virtuous relationship with you, my Lord. Please answer their calls when they need you. Show them that if they can trust you. Father, they will always live full of joy and they will be under the light of your saving word. When the light goes out and blesses them, I know that you are there and take care of them because you are powerful. I also ask that the mother take care of us because only she knows the love we can feel for our children. Thank you for so much love and for being by my side. I thank you every night. Stay with my children and the whole family when I pray Psalm 91. I feel a sense of relief. I take refuge in the shadow of my Lord. I am a faithful witness to your work. I express the gratitude that comes from my heart. I know that you will save me from any danger, disease, plague, and evil attacks. On your wings is the refuge we need. This will be the protective shield we really need. I don't have a night terror or arrows flying during the day, nor the destruction that may seem nor the plagues that torment us. Even if they fall dead from side to side, my family will be unharmed. The wicked will receive your punishment, and they will know what great power you have over the world because I trust it in my Lord and made the Most High my protection. Nothing bad will happen to me. I will not go through any disasters in my house because the angels are always with us, taking us up so that we do not stumble. They restrain and stop the lions and snakes that dare to attack us because your strength is enormous, and no enemy can defeat them. The Lord will save us because we recognize 
Your name will protect us because we are faithful to you, and it will fill us with love because we follow your precepts. Give us long life, health, and prosperity to move forward in our mortal lives, Lord Almighty. Loving and good architect of everything our eyes see. You sent your beloved Son to save us, and you were the architect of the perfect family where Joseph, Mary, and Jesus become the inspiration for the rest of us. We rely on this example to form our own families, following the example of love, respect, tolerance, and sacrifice. This inspiration serves us to recognize and perform the sacraments, obey your designs and commands, and instill love and respect for you in children. This will be our legacy. According to these precepts, we can exalt the Divine Family and give them the recognition they deserve. Show us the way to expiate our sins so that our family reflects yours, and our home becomes a place of prayer and worship to you. Give us the possibility to discover Christ and follow your example of sacrifice. May we see the image of salvation on the cross and find joy in his salvific gestures. As we give our lives to your service, I ask for your protection for me and my loved ones. We will be faithful to the gospel and follow the path of holiness. Allow the intercession of the Holy Family, to whom we also give our hearts and souls. My beautiful Holy Family, show us your hearts full of perfect love and teach us the secret of your union. For it is an example of love and mercy. Like the beautiful house of Nazareth, may the love in our families worship throughout time. With your help, we can achieve a home full of joy, preserving demonstrations of love, respect, tolerance, and empathy among all its members. I am aware that we need a lot of communication, so allow the channels to be open so we can reach the right agreements. Lord, bless us and allow us to be authentic but also patient and loving. May this love be strong and enduring, and may our home become the cradle of your worship. Where prayer is the most used weapon to combat the evil of the world. Allow us to be supportive to help those in need because the unity of the family is the secret of success. May our prayers have a positive effect on other hearts, and may we recruit new members to strengthen our ties with you. Bless all those in need, especially all the members of our family in social circle. Keep our family united and close to your teachings, so we can enter the kingdom of heaven. Your Excellency, I wake up today like every morning to thank you and to take shelter in you because I am always attached to your protective power. I know that you are always by my side, never leaving me even for a minute. Truly, my trust is anchored in your word, and Psalm 91 revitalizes me every morning, giving me the energy to face anything, the daily weaknesses, challenges, and trials presented to me, as well as the well-being and protection of my entire family. When I see my children, I see that they are the blessings of your promise. I rejoice for having been chosen and trusted by you, Father. I thank you every day for entrusting me with their lives and for choosing me to protect them. I know that you take care to cover them with your blessings. Dear God, I ask you to separate my children and grandchildren from any danger, protect them from envious people who come to harm them pretending to be friends. I also ask you, Father, to be the light on their paths, to show them the right way, to forgive their mistakes because I trust in you. May each of their hearts have the fear of God and the trust to follow. Please intervene, Father, so that they never lack bread on the table, always having the opportunity to provide for their family's needs. 
help them so that they do not have to go through economic difficulties, and provide them with the resources to sustain their families. I ask you, my Lord, that my children live under your protective shadow, as Psalm 91 says, that you be their refuge and fortress where they can rest without fear. Only you can deliver my children and grandchildren from all the traps of plagues and envy because I know that you always have your wings over them, and under your shadow, they will be covered and safe. Guide my children to follow your footsteps, to be in communion with you because you are the only way. May you be their shield, and I know that you hear and answer my prayers. That is why I am at peace and feel secure, believing that they will always be protected. When we read Psalm 91, we receive great peace. Especially when we doubt or have mental confusion, or when there is a risk with our children and family. When I pray this psalm, I feel the security that you give me and the opportunity to be in your presence. Allow me to dwell in the secret place of the Most High and to abide under your wings. You, Lord, are my refuge, where I put my children, grandchildren, and my entire family. You will deliver us from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. You will be our shield so that no arrow will ever touch us. No plague shall come near us, and no stone shall cause us to stumble. Those who know your name shall not fall into the jaws of the beast, and thus, we will obtain the key to salvation. While we rest under your wings, we find refuge in your strength, and we will be protected from the enemy's traps. Lord God Almighty, thank you for giving me so much in Psalm 91. I thank you for your mercy and kindness and glorify you, my God. I put all my faith in you and protect me from the traps of the enemy. Guide my steps and those of our children. I thank you for the daily graces granted to my life. It is blessed because I trust in the power of the Lord. That is why I take refuge in you every day, Father. Deliver me from being prey to the devil and protect me from all evil and misfortune at night. I know that when I get up, the light becomes present and illuminates my path always holding your hand to guide and teach me the right way. When I cling to Psalm 91 at night, I am not afraid, and in the day, no arrow can touch me. When evil beings approach me, the angels that the Lord sent protect me. They open my paths, remove all stones, any viper, and obstacle that stands in my way. Put your arms around my shoulders, Father, because then I will be saved. I ask the Lord to keep any falsehood away from me and my children, fill my home with love, maintain harmony, and do not let sadness, envy, and hatred infiltrate our house. I just wish we could live in peace and keep the name of God present. I am aware that I must work hard to give my children the tools to follow the steps towards you. The love that the Lord preaches and has given us always resides in your heart, as Mary loved and protected her son. In the same way, instill in me this love for my own. That is why I pray every day for your protection because they are the reason for my existence and the mission you have entrusted to me. Step part of your flock, taking the greatest example of the Holy Family, where love was stronger than resentment where conflicts of hatred did not exist, and forgiveness was the basis of everything. Trust in Joseph, Mary, and Jesus to take care of my family, providing prosperity so that scarcity does not enter our home. Our Lord Jesus Christ received great power from love for being the guardian of our happiness. I ask you for well-being and abundance for my home and my children. I also ask you to cover me with your cloak so that no gap of negative energy remains in our home. 
I place my soul and my heart in your hands because I know that the Lord will defend me from any danger. Psalm 91 speaks of the protection it provides, the strength created by God, but this does not refer to physics. It is talking about divine power that repels any evil intention of the wicked. Jesus was born to shed his blood and seal with it the malice and betrayal of sinners. This blood is powerful, and it is what has given us peace and tranquility without knowing that we have been saved. Bless us, Lord, so that all our goals become a reality, and protect my home, work, possessions, and life, always filled with love and tranquility that prevails above all. Do not let any of the people who live with me be influenced by the wicked. Do not let bad works curse us and bring negative energies that do not affect us in any aspect of our lives. Do not abandon us at any time of the day because we trust in you, Lord, adored Almighty God, overflowing with mercy and kindness. Generosity and Kindness Today I bow before you with a request as well as faith and the certainty that you will hear me. The word through Psalm 91 says that he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. That is why I turn to your mercy with great humility, knowing that I do not deserve your will because of my sins on earth. Under your shadow, me and my children will find the peace we so desire. I ask that you visit my home daily, hold me and my family, put your hands on our body and soul, allow us the privilege of good health, protect us in every way, and help us stand through the storms. Guide our path to fulfill our daily tasks at home, at work, and in our devotion to you, Holy Lord. I ask you to save us from the enemies of every word of curse, winding roads of temptations that seek to chain us in the darkness. I also thank you because with you, I know no fear, anxiety, or doubt. I receive only protection and abundance from heaven. I will say that you are my strength, and in you, I will trust. Thank you, Father, because with you, I do not feel lonely. Dear Almighty God, on your wings, I place my life, my family, and my friends. Give us the strength to emerge victorious in the face of any difficulty. Grant us the requests we patiently await for, the way to obtain your favors, well-being, and blessings. O oh my Lord, I know that evil offends you. You do not tolerate the sins of the wicked, and those who do not commune with the good cannot be in your presence. For you reject all who dare to do evil. You punish those who lie, as well as murderers and deceivers. Thank you for your inexhaustible love. My house is blessed, and I will remain faithful to you until the end of my days. Guide me on the right path, God, for my enemies are watching. Prepare the way to the light, so I can find it every day. My enemies are betrayed because they do not show their true face, but the deep need to destroy others forces them to crawl. And that is where they reveal their intentions. Lord, help me discover them because they are not worthy. Help them repent and dedicate themselves to you, Father. Allow them one last chance, for all who love you, their name will only radiate joy. Bless the righteous, my merciful God, surround them with your protective shield. Those who acknowledge that they are sinners and seek forgiveness from our Heavenly Father will soon receive blessings in their lives. Just as Jesus forgave his executioners, we too must forgive the rest of the sinners. O oh my merciful God, today I pray to you because I call for your help. Hear my requests and listen to my prayer, Lord. Even though I have sinned, I have tried to live according to your precepts. Therefore, I am not afraid to ask for your forgiveness, 
because both my children and I trust in you. My hope is with you, the truth in my heart. For I know that you can see my sincerity, and you will know how to forgive me. I want to be with you eternally. When dawn arrives, I will bow down to thank you and ask for your kindness to face my day. I know that you send your sentinels to take care of me, both day and night. For those who take refuge under the protection of the Most High, the Lord will always have a shadow to protect them. The refuge and safe place where we all take shelter from danger is a place where we are far from any trap, illness, or evil. Let us trust in the promises of love from our Lord. And with His infallible armor, He will protect us from the enemy's arrow, catastrophes, and any other danger. If we trust in Him, we will see our enemies fall left and right. We will not fall victim to disaster, and the wicked will suffer your judgment. Those who wanted to harm us and those who did not trust in the word of the Lord will be the ones who fall. We must open our eyes to those of us who are under the shadow of our God. We will receive his protective angels, who will rest upon us and wield their swords to slay dragons and snakes and place them under our feet. Our feet will not stumble on rocks, and we will not be targets of our enemies, for your mercy is immeasurable. Any of the faithful will be rescued and honored. They will be rewarded with eternal life, and they will be worthy of salvation, for our Lord is in all corners. He has already checked our hearts, and the Lord knows whom to answer when the final judgment comes. He will rescue and honor those who seek salvation. The Lord is always by my side, and I feel and see His love and actions. The Lord always knows my feelings and desires. That is why I only have to connect with my inner self to communicate with Him. The Lord is always in front of me, behind me, and beside me. He never abandons me, and that is why He is so wonderful. There is no obstacle that the Lord cannot remove. In every flower, in every animal, in every sunrise, the Lord is present. He lives in all corners, and that is why I am not afraid of anything, for at all times, the Lord is guiding my steps. He holds my hand tightly, and that is why every step I take is strong and determined. Oh, my Lord, my God, I know that a child is the most beautiful gift. That is why you allow us to experience it. But beyond that, you have given and endowed us with your brotherly love, which drives us and gives us strength to fight for your faithfulness. We always have the need to protect them. The first protection we seek is seeing the divine power. Only God's protection can break down all barriers and dangers that haunt us. My children are my greatest treasures, and that is why I entrust them to you. So, they can remain under your protection. I ask you to give them the necessary wisdom to choose a path of goodness, and may the blood of our Savior cover them, so that nothing happens to them on their journey. Do not let any potential harm reach them or their children. Keep them under your wings and protect them from any envy or intention to harm them. Stay by their side and put your protective shield around them. Today, I am. Here I kneel before you because I want you to hear my plea, Lord. Please listen carefully to my prayer and my intentions to continue on the path of righteousness. I ask for forgiveness for every sin and transgression I have committed. Do not let my feet slip, and do not let any trace of violence appear in me. I want to be worthy of your mercy, Lord. Do not allow vanity or pride to invade my life, and keep me on the path of humility. But I also ask you, Lord, to hear me and guide me. I call upon you whenever I need your help, 
and you respond to me immediately. Show me your merciful eyes, and protect me and my children from all danger. Keep us away from those who speak rudely of you and those who do not see your magnanimity. Do not let the lion or the snake come near us, nor let negative feelings or influences enter our hearts. So that we may remain faithful to your love and have eternal life on the day of judgment. Show us your infinite kindness and save our souls. This is how we will walk with the Lord God of Israel and testify to your power. Amen. Today, we are going to pray with all our faith, asking God to break every chain through the power of Psalm 91. Before we begin praying, it is very important that you type your prayer request in the comments. Let's pray for every bondage, everything that is trying to hinder your victory, to be broken. Every evil, in the name of Jesus, will be defeated. We will read Psalm 91 and together, with all our faith, we will pray to the Almighty Lord. In this prayer, I am certain that the Lord will deliver victory, blessings, and rewards. Let us pray together. With all our faith. It is also important that you share this prayer with seven friends, whether on Facebook, Instagram, or in your WhatsApp. Contacts and Groups Share this prayer with seven or more friends so that they may be blessed through this prayer. For when we bless someone's life, we are also blessed. So, bless the lives of your friends. Share this prayer with them. Let us read Psalm 91 with all our faith and then pray to the Lord. Amen. And Psalm 91 says the following, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him I will trust. Surely He shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with His feathers, and under His wings you shall take refuge, his truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but you shall not be harmed, only with your eyes you will witness the reward of the wicked. For you, O Lord, are my refuge, the Most High, and your dwelling place. No harm shall befall you, no plague shall come near your home. For he will command his angels concerning you, to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread upon lions and cobras, you will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, I will deliver him, I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call upon me, and I will answer. Him, I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Glory to God for this powerful word. This is Psalm 91, and the blessings of Psalm 91 are upon your life. Type the following phrase in the comments, the blessings of Psalm 91 are upon my life at this moment. Place your hand on your heart and repeat this phrase with all your faith. The blessings of Psalm 91 are upon my life. Place your hand on your head and repeat this phrase with all your faith. The blessings of Psalm 91 are upon my life. Stretch your hands high and repeat with me, the blessings of Psalm 91 are in my home, in my family, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Claim this word. Claim your victory and in this moment, with all our faith, let us pray together to the Lord and claim all the blessings of Psalm 91 in our lives. Therefore, in this moment, with all our faith, let us pray to the Sovereign God. And Eternal Father, 
Creator of the heavens and the earth. In your holy and blessed presence, here we are. We are here in this moment of prayer, praying Psalm 91 with all our faith. God, I want to present to you every prayer request that has been typed in the comments of this video. Lord, may the blessings of Psalm 91 be upon the life of each person who requested prayer, help, and provision. May you send your angel to sever the ties, undo the entanglements, and break every bondage in their emotional life, financial life, spiritual life, and health. May all chains and constraints be shattered now in the name of Jesus Christ. May the blessings of Psalm 91 be confirmed in our lives, in our homes, in our families. God, in the name of Jesus, shelter us under the shadow of your wings. May the blessings of Psalm 91 be upon us. I lift up the financial life of everyone listening to me right now. May every bondage, every hindrance blocking financial blessings be broken, every evil be broken, every chain be broken, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I ask for your blessing upon the financial life of everyone listening to me at this hour. Prosper them, grant them victory, open doors of employment. Open the doors of employment. Lord, in the lives of your people, in the name of Jesus, for those who are unemployed. May the door of employment open, and may your name be glorified. For those who are in debt, may all their debts be paid in the name of Jesus. Open doors, prosper your sons and daughters, so that they may pay off their debts. I present those who have a business, may the Lord prosper them. For those seeking their first job, may the Lord open this door. For those who are studying, may the Lord bless their minds, may the Lord illuminate their minds. And may they prosper in their studies. God, may the blessings of Psalm 90 be upon the financial lives of everyone listening to me at this hour. Prosper them from the north, south, east, and west. Bring forth prosperity. Showers of blessings. Showers of victory. Showers of power upon the lives of everyone listening to me at this moment. God, I present to you every prayer request that has been typed in the comments of this video. No matter how simple the prayer request may be, I ask you, Lord, to perform miracles, to do the unprecedented, to accomplish the impossible, and grant victory to your servants, to your handmaidens, for the glory of your name. We ask you, Holy Spirit of Truth, Holy Spirit of God, I present to you, Lord. Every prayer request. Bring healing to those who are going through a period of illness, of disease. May every disease in the name of Jesus disappear now, may every lump disappear, may all pain in the body disappear, may all leg and arm pain vanish in the name of Jesus, may every digestive system ailment disappear now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May every sickness vanish in this moment and never return. Bring healing, bring restoration. Bless the health of your people. In the name of Jesus, we ask you. I also present to you, Lord. The romantic lives of those who are single, those who are dating, those who are engaged and married. May every bondage, every hindrance that tries to block, that tries to tie down the romantic victory of your people be broken. May every evil be rebuked. Bless the romantic lives of each one, bless for the glory and praise of your name those who are single and seeking marriage. May the Lord bless their romantic lives. May the Lord bless in a powerful way. May the romantic lives of each one listening to me be abundantly blessed, even in this year, in the name of Jesus. For marriages in crisis, marriages facing trials, may the Lord bring restoration to those marriages. May the Lord bless families. God, in the name of Jesus, may all evil crumble and may your name be glorified. 
Bless families. Lord, may the blessings of Psalm 91 be upon the romantic lives of your people. May the blessings of Psalm 91 be upon their finances, their health, and every area of their lives. May the Lord bless in a powerful way. Open the pathways. Open the doors, Lord, and grant victory to your people. In the name of Jesus, we ask because we believe in the power of your name. Your word says that whatever we ask in your name, believing, we shall receive. And in the name of Jesus, may the blessings of Psalm 91 be confirmed upon the lives of your people, and may your name be glorified in the victory of each one of us, for the glory and praise of your name. We ask that every bondage be broken, that every chain be broken, in the name of Jesus Christ. May everything that tries to interrupt, everything that tries to paralyze the victory of each one of us, everything that tries to block, be rebuked in the name of Jesus. May the walls crumble, may the giants fall in the name of Jesus Christ, we take possession, Lord, of the blessings of Psalm 91 in our lives, in our homes, in our families, for your word reveals to us that those who dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my God, my refuge, my fortress, and in Him, I will trust, for He shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with His feathers, and under His wings you shall take refuge, His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you, only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. For you, O Lord, are my refuge, the Most High, and your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague. Come near your dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over you, to keep you in all your ways. They will hold you up with their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on. High because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him, I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him and honor. Him. With long life I will satisfy him, and show him my salvation. May these blessings of Psalm 91 be upon our lives, upon our families, upon our homes, and upon our paths may our paths be opened, may the closed doors be opened, and may your name, the Eternal God, be glorified in our victory. May the Lord bless your people in every area of their lives with peace, blessing, victory, and prosperity. In the name of Jesus, we pray with all our faith, and we thank you in advance, because you, Lord, are the power, the glory, the strength, and the dominion forever and ever. Cover us, Lord, under the shadow of your wings. Guard our lives, protect our lives and our families. May your resplendent cloud of glory be upon us. May your sacred mantle be upon us in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus, Amen. And thanks be to God, thanks be to God who gives us the victory through the power of the name of Jesus Christ. Take possession of this word, take possession of this prayer. I invite you to subscribe to the channel. We are here every day, praying to the Lord. May God bless your life in a very special way, to each subscriber of this channel. Thank you very much, because together we are a prayer family, and our united prayers have great power. A big hug to your heart, and may the peace of the Lord reign over all of us. And remember, you were born to conquer and the 
Blessings of Psalm 91 are upon your life. May God bless our lives in a very special way. The peace of the Lord Jesus, may God bless you.